With this question, we have another main point, main conclusion question. The question is that asks us to uh, accurately express the main conclusion argument. So this is the most basic type of logical reasoning question. This is the type of question that we, in our full course, teach you how to deal with first because it has to do with the most basic fundamental skill, which is being able to identify the different parts of an argument here, namely the main conclusion of the argument. If you can't do that, then there really is no, there's no use talking about analyzing an argument or attacking an argument or improving an argument or whatever because you I mean you know we have to get clear on what the different components of an argument is first so this is very basic labeling exercise so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to draw on our lessons from how to do this and remember that you can use a couple of different techniques for main point questions typically they won't include things like thus like these structural indicators that indicate the structure of the argument thus introduces conclusions therefore introduces conclusions hence they're probably not going to do that because it just makes this question way too easy so probably the thing we have to rely on is ask us, ask ourselves why. Why should we believe in, say, this sentence, if this sentence is we suspect to be the conclusion? What does the author want to persuade us of? And that's the question here. That The answer to that question typically is the uh, main conclusion of the argument. So let's read. Double-blind techniques should be used whenever possible in scientific experiments. See, that already sounds like, and that I mean, you're trying to tell me what I should and should not do. I, 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 I don't know. I don't like to be told what I should and should not do. Why? Why should I believe you? Right, so let's play this game. Let's pretend this is a conclusion and see if the rest of this stuff actually supports, um, gives an example, is at least attempts to be persuasive of why I, as a scientist, should use double-blind techniques whenever I possibly can. Okay, so go. All right, the author says, well, look, here's why. Because they, referential phrasing, double-blind techniques, referring to this stuff, help prevent the misinterpretations that often arise due to expectations and opinions that scientists already hold. So this is what they do. Double-blind studies are great for preventing the misinterpretations and expectations that we already have. And clearly, we scientists should be extremely diligent in trying to avoid such misinterpretations. Oh, okay. That seems like, I mean, I don't know. I don't have to be per, per, uh, persuaded. I don't have to be convinced by this argument. You know, I can counter argue and say, okay, okay, fair enough, your premise is good, but oh, there are all these other things you haven't considered about double blind studies, how hard they are to do, how long it takes, how expensive they are, I don't have all the funding in the world, blah, 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 blah. None of that stuff matters because we're not trying to analyze the argument. We're not trying to weaken this argument or attack it or strengthen it or what. We're just trying to label this argument. And as long as you get the idea that this thing here has at least just a hint, a whiff of support for this statement, then you're good. Then we're done. And it does. You know, you might not be persuaded, but it's at least trying to be persuasive why double blind things should be used whenever possible because it helps to prevent science scientists from misinterpreting stuff. So now we now we are fairly certain that this is the conclusion. You just we, we do next is we we just get sort of tunnel vision. Don't look at this stuff anymore. Just take a look at this sentence and paraphrase this sentence as best we can. Scientists' objectivity may be impeded by interpreting ex, uh, experimental evidence on the basis of, yeah, great, that's what the premise says, not what the conclusion says. B says, it is advisable for scientists to use double-blind study, advisable, should, very good, in as high a proportion of their experiments as they can, whenever possible, as high a proportion as possible. Yeah, perfect. C says, scientists sometimes neglect to adequately consider, yeah, I mean, I'm sure this is, this is probably why they're advising us to use double-blind studies, but this doesn't paraphrase you should use double-blind studies, which is what B says. D says, whenever possible, should refrain from interpreting evidence. Great, great advice, but not not paraphrasing what this says. E says double-blind experiment techniques are often an effective way of ensuring scientific objectivity, and that's why we should use it. But you see, for E, E just sort of leaves it there. It doesn't say whether we should use it or not. It doesn't paraphrase this the sentiment of this statement, which is that you scientists should use this whenever you possibly can. This just says it's good. Okay, I mean, you know, plenty of things are good. 